With that, let's move on. And the Kenya Human Rights Commission wants King Charles of the United Kingdom to accept responsibility over the atrocities of the colonial rule, as well as the negative impact of British investments and programs in Kenya to date. KHRC says it wants the issues addressed since they touch on the victims and survivors of mass and systemic atrocities, historic land injustices and corporate-related violations, for which either the British government directly or indirectly took part in through British corporations and other powerful actors. George Maringa now reports. Preparations for the arrival of the King of the United Kingdom, King Charles, Philip Arthur George Windsor and Queen Camilla Perkabols to Kenya are in high gear. But even before their majesties, the king and queen in two days' time touched down in Nairobi on the 31st of October, the Kenya Human Rights Commission, KHRC, is an agitated lot. There is no indication that the king plans to meet with all the diverse groups of victims of gross human rights violation perpetrated by the brutal colonial regime. In a 10-page press statement read on Sunday, KHRC was quick to highlight key injustices committed during and post-colonial rule. The commission says that the five key injustices have had social, economic and political implications that continue to be felt to date. Political repression during the colonial rule, that's between 1895 to 1963 when Kenya got uh, independence. The others are land alienation, gross human rights violations committed by the British corporates and a very touchy subject, conservation, which they say is the face of new colonialism. A similarly touchy subject is the presence of the British Army Training Unit in Kenya, Batuk. UK. High Commissioner to Kenya, Neil Wigan, confessed that they haven't issued an apology in any context as KHRC now wants His Majesty the King and the British government to take substantial measures to redress the historical and current injustices. And the deal breaker is an official apology. Unconditional public apology and official acknowledgement of the wrongs which have been committed so far. KHRC also wants documentation, repatriation and repository of materials related to British atrocities, adequate reparations for, for all victims, human rights commitment and compliance and involvement of all the victims, groups and other key sectors. In the meantime, mass demonstrations are in the offing on the eve of the arrival of their royal majesties. We continue to celebrate our Mau Mau heroes. We continue to ask where the body of Kemadi is. We continue to ask for justice and we shall be at the Kemadi statue. The visit to Kenya, the first by King Charles III and Queen Camilla of England since ascending to the throne six months ago, has elicited mixed reactions. And whereas their tour will take place in Nairobi and Mombasa counties only, eyes will be on the way their Royal Majesties will address issues raised by civil society. George Maringa, TV 47.